Welcome to getting started with FME Server. This tutorial gives you hands-on experience with this component of the FME data integration platform. In part one of this tutorial, we logged into FME Server and ran a sample workspace. Now let's learn how to publish your own workspaces from FME Desktop to FME Server. In this video, we review and run a workspace in FME Workbench, publish the workspace to FME Server, run the workspace from the FME Server interface, and finally, check the job status using the results page. As with the previous video, sample data and workspaces are attached to the main landing page for this tutorial on knowledge.safe.com. Now let's start by firing up FME Workbench and opening a workspace. Open the sample workspace provided. It's a straightforward workspace, taking in data through an Esri Geo database reader and sending it out via a generic writer. The generic writer allows a user to decide which format to write to when the workspace runs. Currently, it's been set up to write to Esri shapefile. Best practice suggests we run the workspace in FME Desktop before publishing it to FME Server to make sure it all works. So let's do that. Well, all looks correct, so select File, Publish to FME Server from the menu bar. This starts the wizard to publish a workspace. A connection to the server is required, so let's define that. Click Connection, then Add Web Connection. First, give your web connection a new name. I'm choosing Training FME Server. Enter your server URL, then connect with the username and password. In here, we can use the default username and password of author stroke author. The next panel is to select a repository to store the workspace. Click on the New button to create a new repository and enter Server Tutorial for the name. Let's keep the workspace names community mapping.fmw. If we wish to run the workspace on FME Server, it must have access to the data. One simple solution is to publish the data files to what is called a shared resource folder. This is an FME Server system for storing data and related resources. So, click the button for Select Files, then click Select Location to define where to upload this dataset to. Click OK and select the communitymap.gdb folder. Click OK once more to close this dialog. Ensure that the Upload Data Files checkbox is selected and click Next. The next panel registers the workspace with one or more services. Each service returns the translation output in a slightly different form. The Job Submitter service simply runs a workspace writing any output data to the location specified in the workspace writers. The data download service runs a workspace, writing any output data to a zip file. A link is provided to the zip file, both in the user interface and, optionally, via an email notification. As we saw in the first video, the data streaming service runs a workspace and returns the output data to the web browser which usually tries to open the output automatically, according to the file type. The KML Network Link service returns a network link file specific to Google Earth, and the notification service allows for event-driven messaging. For this example, leave the Job Submitter option checked, and also select the Data Download service. Now click Publish. The log window confirms the workspace was successfully published. Now open the FME Server user interface. Log in with the same account used to create the connection in FME Workbench. The newly published workspace appears in the Last Published Workspaces panel. Click on the workspace name to open the Run Workspace page with the repository and workspace selected automatically. The service parameter shows the two services this workspace is registered with. Pick Data Download. Extra parameters may appear, but we'll leave them to the next exercise. 
Click Run. Again, the workspace is assigned to an engine to carry out the translation. Once successful, we see summary information and a link to download the workspace output. Click on the URL to download the zip file. Open up the zip file to confirm we have a number of Esri shapefiles as a result of our translation. Back in the FME server interface, click Jobs and Completed to view the status of the completed workspace job. Thank you for viewing part 2 of this tutorial. The next video covers parameters that allow the user of the workspace to select the output format of their choice.